In this video I'm going to be making a fixture alignment tool for use on the rotary table. It's uh, this sort of uh, idea, only that's not a very good drawing. I'm going to make it out of a bit of uh, aluminium. Uh, I've got to turn this part down first on the lathe and then I'm going to mill half of the block away on the mill. But that'll, that'll all become clear later, so let's get this over to the lathe and get that turned down. Notice that um, when I put the uh, square stock into the jaws that I uh, wiggle it about quite a bit as I'm tightening the jaws. That helps um, centralise it and get it in a, a good, nice, equal position in between the jaws. in a collet okay we'll uh, take that out and take it over to the mill now what we've got to do is reduce this down to halfway across the centre of the bit we've just turned down. Actually, I, I think this is going to work better if I don't have it in a collar, if I keep this true to the fence, the back fence on the vise. Yeah, let's take it out of there. First thing I need to do. is to square this end up. I only need to square beyond the halfway because half of it is going to be removed.
it, I've established that this is 16 millimeters. Okay. Now I need to measure down. Right, from that face it is 16, 17, 18, 18 and 1 ten, well, 1 fifth, 18 and 1 fifth, sorry, 8, it's 8 and 1 fifth, so I need to go 8 and 1 fifth plus half of the 16, so that 16 and 1 fifth will put me exactly center of this point here. Alright, just dust it off on there. I'll set the DRO to zero. I'm going to go down 15, remeasure it, just to make sure nothing has moved, and then I'll take the final pass. As you can see, I um, had a change of plan halfway through the build. I decided that that was far too long, um, and th this is going to be more than long enough. Uh, I don't want it too long because that's going to restrict. It's getting further away from the centre. That makes sense. Take off a tiny little burr. Alright, I can now measure. Let's get that out of the way. I've still got it zeroed, but I can now measure. I've still got it zero, but I can now measure how far we're down now. So we are down off that face. Off that face, we are five, six, seven, seven. Seven point eight five. I'm just going to clean up this face and then we'll be done. I've got to clean this face up because um, I took it out and cut it down, so this is just a bandsaw cut now. So I'll just clean that up.
go. This is exactly centre of this, so when I put that into the chuck, then line this up with the end of some stock in the rotary table, I'll know that the end of the stock is exactly centre and I can measure back from that point. Right, how this works is let's uh, let's assume that we've got the uh, right, table centered okay bring that down this is your work piece right on the center of the, the table now if you want to uh, set this piece 70 mil back from center then you wind your table back on the y-axis you go 70 mil back on the y-axis butt this up and then you know you've got exactly 70 millimeters from there to there which will say give you a 70 millimeter radius this of course isn't 70 millimeters that's, that's all out of scale but that, that, that's how it works Right, to set the vise up and get the back of the fence, the back jaw of the vise exactly on the centre line Just tighten that up slightly like that and then lock your vise down simple and then you know that this back fence is true to the centre of the vise that's all folks, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did hit the like button, I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question, I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.